Okay, this is going to be a tour of the Greenville Corps of Engineer campground. It's the uh, Greenville Recreation Area Corps of Engineer campground. Boat ramp to the left, campground to the right, so we'll go out to the boat ramp first. And again, there's a sign there for Bettis Ford. Maybe somebody comment down below who Bettis Ford was. So, in front of you is a place to park uh, for boats, kayaks, canoes, whatever, and then right to the right of it there is the actual launch. If you go down to the left when you come in, there's actually a fishing pier down here, so you can fish on it. Very beautiful campground, really well maintained. And I can tell you they cut the grass once a week out here, which really makes it nice. A little noisy when they do it, but it really makes it nice. So you can come out here and just sit and look at the lake, or you can bring your fishing pole. There were some people fishing here a few mornings ago. I didn't ask them if they were catching anything, but I can't imagine why you wouldn't. I come out here one evening uh, right, right around dark and you can see fish pop in the water, and so and you, know, you know they're there. I was telling you before, you guys park into the left and to the right of the ramp here. It's just much easier to park to the left, I would think. But it is a full circle here. Not out to the ramp, but it's a full circle inside, so you could turn around. Just seems a little tight to me for a boat, especially if you got a boat of any size. And here's the boat ramp. Nice boat ramp, concrete, got a little pier. They, uh, they put this pier in while we were here this week. It was sitting way up here, so I don't know why they had it out of the water, but they have since put it back in. I don't know if maybe the, uh, they were expecting rains or for it to rise or something took it out, but they put it back in. Very nice boat ramp. back toward the campground. You can see this used to be the old Trail of Tears. A lot of history in that too. If you're not familiar with that, go look that up. It's uh, quite a story. Not a very good ending to it, but a pretty good story. So right here on this bridge, they've, uh, they've actually put on their water watermark lines of where the watermarks were in different years and the very top one up there is May of 2011. That's got to be 20 feet high. The very bottom one was April of 1927. So, anyway, they're in chronological order from the bottom up. Well, I say that, but then I see one that says 1904, about halfway up the round column there, so. They're not in chronological order. 1915. Anyway, that's uh, that's the watermarks. It's just hard to believe looking at that bridge and then looking out in front out there that all of that that you can see was underwater in May of 2011 and April of 1945. I mean, that is an incredible amount of water. So we'll go on to the campground. So 
So they have a really nice playground for the kids out here. Looks like the local school has come out to enjoy it. They do have pavilions you can rent here. That is one of the pavilions there that you can rent. The gazebo there has more information under it about the, the old part of Greenville. And then the sign you can see here, it says Old Greenville. This is the Old Greenville before they moved it. Moved it in 1941, two miles north of here because of all the flooding. I did another video, uh, it'll probably come out after this one, um, of all the old sites here in Greenville. They actually took the time to mark them, take pictures of them, give you information of it. The old streets and everything are still there, the sidewalks, part of the foundations. Kind of interesting. If you're a history buff, you'll enjoy the video. If you're not, you're not going to if you're a history buff, go over and check it out. So that was the that was the guard shack there, so they uh, that's where you would check in. It is one way through here. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go the one way and it's First lot here is the park attendants, and it is lot one here beside the, not the park attendants lot, lot one is right beside the park attendant. So that's lot one. And lot two. Then lot three, there to the right, you might have recognized ours. We're in lot four. So, Coming up on lot four now. This is where we're at. And I'm not going to go through and tell you what all the lot numbers are because there's a hundred and something of them. Uh, you should be able to see them as we go by. If you can't, just uh, look at the map that you can pull up. There's an actual map you can look up and it'll show you all the lot numbers that are in each loop. This is the first, first part of the loop. We ended, uh, we ended lot 12 here. Hey, good morning. All right, continuing on down on the left side here, there's a Confederate graveyard. And there's five unknown soldiers memorials inside of it. Lot 18 here to your right. If you go straight ahead right there, two miles up that bike trail or walking trail, you'll end up in a new part of Greenville. And you see the left campsites 26 to 107, so a lot of campsites. We have lot 26 on the left, lot 27 on the right. 28 again back to the left. You get it. Okay, off, off to the left here. There's a bathhouse and a playground. Very, very nice bathhouses here. All right, so they got a buddy site here in 3536. It's a well-maintained place. They're out here doing weed eating out here now. Like I said, they cut the grass once a week. All right, campsite. 80 to 107 is in this loop. 80 to 107. That's 80 on your right. 81 on your right. 82 on the left. Again, you got buddy sight here. 83, 84 on the right. Two guys are wearing these bikes out.
money on the right. All right, where the red trailer is at, that is a uh, buddy site, 93, 94. Again, you can pull the map up on, uh, I think it's Dove, Gov, or recreation.gov. All right. All right. So uh, straight across from Camp Camp Spot 99, you have a uh, another restroom. Those are just restrooms. They're not bathhouses, but uh, very clean. Also, each circle has a dumpster in it, so you don't have to go too far to get rid of the garbage really nice here. They all have concrete pads. That's another entrance to the one of the big box trails here up to the right. They all have concrete pads, sewer, water, electric. Really, really nice. So that's 107 on the left, 106 on the right. So we'll come back out of this loop and jump right back out on the loop uh, that we just came off of onto this one. So that puts you back at 56 on your right. 57 on the left, somebody left some firewood. The next guy's gonna enjoy that. Of course, I know it's getting kinda hot here even at night. So buddy shot 59 and 60. Hey. What's up, Rich? Beautiful day. Everybody just having a good time. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. So, uh, just can't express enough how nice this camp is. Just really beautiful. Lots of green space here. You can see the big areas between the sites here. Alright, so we're back around where we started uh, on the second loop. So we'll go down the outside and then I'll come back up the middle middle loop on it. This is lot 19 to the right. 20. You see all the green space to the left? I mean, that's, that's football field. You don't get that in all the Corvette here campgrounds. campgrounds. In fact, you'll get that in a lot of state parks. 22. Park is full of history of what it used to be before they relocated up the, up the road two miles. Again, the first video I was talking about how high the water got. Can you imagine being right here and water being like 18 feet above your head? That is a lot of water. Lots of people leaving today. We uh, just got done with the uh, I Ride Tiny House Rendezvous. A lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. Hope everybody that was there that's watching this enjoyed it also. Can't wait to see everybody again. All right, this is back at one. Uh, so we just, we just coming into the park here. Before we went around and bypassed the center road. The center road here is 05 to the left. You see these old street signs? These are actually street signs from uh, when the city used to be here. So these were actual streets. That's six on the left. 13 on the right. And there's just more bathrooms on the right hand side. And 14 and 15. And that's pretty much the whole park. Uh, if you look, I'm gonna do some more videos of us riding on the trails later. Uh, just various things, so check back, look at the other videos, you get to see more Greenville. In fact, we're going up into the new part of Greenville today, probably do a little video up there. Still a really old town, but uh, just kind of neat to see 
see where they moved it and what they've done with it. All right, well, I'm back at the campsite, so see you guys a little later. Make each day count, 365. Continue the journey. Still a lot to see out here in this world.